Hey guys, welcome back to another quick weathering tutorial and this one is going to be covering doing scrapes and scratches on the sides of a modern covered hopper. In this particular case, the example that I have before me here is a set of GBRX um, Gunderson covered hoppers. These are the brand new release cars by Scale Trains. I have two of them. Uh, one is finished um, and then I got one that still needs the effect done to the sides. Uh, both cars are pretty much prepped and weathered like I normally would with some basic washes. Uh, effects, the trucks are nicely weathered couplers, that whole thing. Uh, but what we're, basically what we're going to be doing here is modeling the scratches and scrapes that these cars regularly get in service. Uh, and you really see this a lot in these smooth side cars. Not just the uh, Gunderson cars, but a good example too is the Trinity, older Trinity 3 bay covered hoppers with the round sides and then like the older cylindrical style covered hoppers that have the extended sides, they usually get pretty banged up. You'll see deep scratches, you'll see pitting, especially on the older cars that will start to really rust and collect a lot of grime and dirt. And that's what I really want to try to replicate, because again, I mean, these cars, even brand new, these are relatively new, they still get scraped up very quickly in uh, regular service. So, and that's why I want to try to show you guys how to replicate this. It's very, very easy to do, and oh, you only need basically a couple materials. So the effect on the table here before us is quite simple to do. All we're going to need is a little bit of AIM products, black powder here. You could use some black chalk as well. I have a scruffy uh, camel hair large brush, which I'll be using to scrape up the sides. I have a Citadel number no. 2. It's also very scruffy on the end. I'll be using this to apply some powders. And then I have an X-Acto blade with a brand new blade on here uh, to do some of the deeper scratches on the sides. So I'm going to be using all of these materials uh, and brushes and the exacto blade to do this. Okay, so I got the camera at a weird angle here, but bear with me. I'll show you guys up close what this looks like when we're done. Um, but it's important to note here that before I did this video, I weathered these cars, like I said, and I sealed the sides up with dull coat. This is a bit important here because if you don't have the dull coat on here, you won't get as fine as scratches because basically what you're doing with this technique is you're scraping the surface, which is mainly the dull coat layer that we've put on this. And when you peel the dull coat back, you'll see these little lines and things. Uh, it shows up in a lot more detail compared to trying to do this on a regular, uh, untouched, straight out of the factory painted car body basically. Uh, it's got to be done with dull coat, uh, with the car dull coated, sealed up, and then you can do this effect and it'll stand out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my large uh, camel hair brush, this guy, and you can see it's very stiff here. And what I'm going to basically do is take this and very, very roughly scrape the side like this. It's literally this simple. And the thing that I'm doing here is putting all the fine scratches in the sides. I'm being careful as I get to the end cages. I don't want to bust any of these details. But I'm just very carefully going down the side like this. And they don't have to be perfect either. They can be a little squiggly because these do have a lot of squiggly, uh, imperfect looking lines. So, after I've done that, next step is to model the deeper scratches. And in this case, what you can do, take your X-Acto blade, just randomly go down the sides like this. I'm putting very little pressure on this. Remember that most of this is going to be at the base of the car. And you can vary this uh, up quite a bit. Okay. After you've done that, all you got to do is remove the excess material. And we've got some pretty good base scratches here. I've also been able to uh, scuff up the side lettering, which is realistic as well. Now, this last step here not only enhances the rib weld seams on the car sides, which can be very hard to paint or chalk in uh, by hand, but this is also going to enhance the scratches that we've just put in on the sides. And this is where our black powder comes into play, and then our stubby Citadel No. 2 brush. What I like to do is take a little bit of the powder, just like this, load your bristles up like that, and then I'm going to take and transfer this over and kind of basically do like I would if I was dry brushing. And take some of that powder off on a napkin. Now what I'm going to do, and this is very important, make sure you're taking the brush only this way. And then just start randomly scrubbing it down the side like this. And it'll start filling in those weld seams. And it'll start laying in some more of that powder into those deeper scratches. Uh, for example, these guys here, you can even kind of go like this and work that in if you want. Some of these finer details, you can do that as well. There we go, but just layer it in. 
and you can go as light or as heavy as you like on this. That's as far as I'm going to take it on this side. I'll go ahead and take the camera off the tripod. We'll get real nice and close so you can see what we've accomplished. Here's a, here's a shot I don't think we've ever done before. Take a look at this. If you look closely at each individual panel, you can see the very fine scratches on the surface of the car, including the really deep scratches there, looking down the side of the car. Scuffed up the plate seal a little bit, but look at that. That's very prototypical. That's basically exactly what the real cars look like. They get these really nice, uh, fine scratches down the side, and we've been able to accomplish that very quickly and very, very easily. This is so easy to do, guys. It's, it's so simple. You really can't screw this up. But you can see all those fine scratches. And it's just the little details like that that really make a model much more prototypical and much more realistic. It's not just about the fine weathering and doing kick up spray and splatter and, you know, painting journals and things like that to look like different parts. It's not just things like that. It's all these little things combined together that make the whole effect, uh, in a way, basically making these models look more realistic and more prototypical. It's these little fine effects, and that's why I wanted to show this to you. Uh, but that looks really good. Matter of fact, I'll bring in the other car I did too. This one has a little bit more deeper scratches. So if I actually bring it in here, next door, you guys can see the exact same effect I did on this one with the deeper scratches and they really stand out so there you go okay guys so that's just a quick view on how to do the scrapes and scratches on these modern covered hoppers hopefully you guys have fun doing this on your models uh... in the meantime thank you for watching i appreciate it i'll be posting more tip trick videos coming up here very soon uh... in the meantime subscribe here on youtube for more content and in the meantime thanks for watching take it easy